there seems to be a, like a car accident that just happened. Uh, I don't know if anybody lives here. Looks, looks like nobody's mowed the lawn in a while. A lot of trash. Well, let's go check and see if the neighbor's home. Somebody definitely lives here. Oh, there he is in the... Do you live here? Oh, no, okay, I'm sorry. I just had a question. I, I own a lawn care business, and um, this house right here, do you know, does anybody live in this house, this brick house? I don't think so. Oh, okay, you haven't seen, have you lived here for a while? They're looking about keeping it up anyway. They ain't gonna pay nobody to do it. They I know. do it to sell. Yeah, <laughs> so what we do, interestingly, is me and my boys go out and we do free lawn care service for the community when we find a yard that looks like that because we know usually people either abandon them or they're in a tough situation or whatever and it doesn't really look good for the neighbor so um, half time we can't see the traffic coming because it grows up yeah bad. yeah they come maybe once a year to once a year oh it looks like they've skipped a year <laughs> yeah i know right yeah but you it see can the backyard it looks worse oh yeah it um tree fell it, down in the back it, it was about three or four years for the guy to do it wow yeah, it's yeah. but yeah it can definitely get dangerous because of the traffic there i can imagine so yeah, um well thank you so much yes, for your help you take care okay Hey, this is Justin from The Blessing Boys, and do we have a wild one for you today. We had a once in a lifetime situation happen while mowing this overgrown property. Before we got started, I talked to the neighbors who told me that someone did own this property, but hardly ever comes around and definitely hasn't maintained the yard in a long time. They told me the biggest issue was that when the grass in the front gets too tall, it actually blocks them from being able to see oncoming traffic and becomes pretty dangerous for them. Then the unthinkable happened. Not long after we began mowing the front yard, a trailer was backing out of the neighbor's driveway and a vehicle didn't see it and crashed right into it. The trailer actually had a lawnmower on it, so it was pretty bad. We went over to check out the scene, so stay tuned for that. I will let you know that everyone is okay and we were able to get back to the yard. It came out really good, so hang in to the end, not only to see the situation in the road unfold, but the amazing before and after pictures of this yard, it came out incredible. We also got to talk with another neighbor about the situation and get a full reaction after we finished. Hey, thanks again for watching to the end. It really does help support this work. Now let's get right into this yard.
So if I know one thing, it's that mowing these yards works quite the appetite up. And the last thing I wanna do is try to fuel up with a bunch of fast food garbage, but I also don't have a ton of time to prepare my meals, so that's why we've partnered up with Cook Unity, the sponsor of today's video. This has been a real game changer in the kitchen. Now our family has tried countless meal services, but what really sets Cook Unity apart is number one, the incredible variety of meals they have, and two, each meal is made by talented chefs around the country in regional micro kitchens, not warehouse production facilities. So today I'm diving into the vegan chorizo chili mac and cheese, and this was prepared by chef Ivy Stark. And I've also got the next few meals lined up as well. The best part, these meals are fully cooked and ready to heat up, which saves tons of time and hassle in the kitchen. And the subscription is super flexible, so you can pause it, you can skip weeks, or you can even cancel at any time. And Cook Unity chefs offer up a wide range of meals with over seven different dietary preference filters, including vegan, paleo, and gluten-free options. So if you're ready to elevate your eating experience, head to cookunity.com slash blessing50 or use my link down in the description and use code blessing50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals. Trust me, once you try Cook Unity, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. Hey, big thanks again to Cook Unity for sponsoring this video. And now we gotta get back into this overgrown yard. There seems to be a like a car accident that just happened. Let's see what's going on. Is everything okay? Okay. Oh, okay. I was just doing the the yard work next door. I uh, saw the car was stuck. I guess did it hit the trailer pulling out? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They have the the police coming or something to help. They're coming to help. You okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Whew. So this is pretty wild. The uh, just so much going on in this yard. Looks like there was a um, accident where a trailer was pulling out right where we parked too. Um, somebody was backing out of that driveway and smashed into them. So, but they seem to be okay. The police are on the way. I guess they're going to take care of that. And we'll keep you updated at the end of the video.
is not, we may have to go over there. This is not safe. I don't know if you can see behind me, but that car is literally in the middle of the road and the police haven't shown up yet. But we're gonna walk over there and see what, uh, what's going on, see if we can help them out because it's just, it's dangerous. The cars don't even know that um, that is there. So we checked on it. There's nothing we can really do because the the tires, it's like flat on the ground and you can't, like there's no way to push it or anything like that. So I know you probably couldn't hear me when I went up and talked to the guy, but they said they called the police and the police aren't coming because it's outside. It's weird. It's like, oh, there they are. It's outside of city limits. So they had to send a state trooper and they just showed up. Cool, the police are here, uh, state troopers are here, they're gonna take it from here and uh, hopefully get this area a little safer because we don't want another accident to happen. So that was our biggest concern is that another car would smash into the back of that car, but this seems to be taken care of. So we're gonna get back to work on this yard so we can get this front yard done today. And we're just thankful that everybody who was involved in that accident is safe.
Is this your house? Yeah. Okay, I just I just wanted to let you know we're gonna clean up this property next door. Okay. We don't know the owner or anything like that, but we go around and um, do community work and and help uh -huh. clean up places that look either abandoned yeah, they or. They moved out, and occasionally they'll come and get the mail out of the box and go in and get a piece or two of whatever they've left in there. Okay. And they're living someplace else. I don't. Know they just left it. Huh? Yeah, they're just like left it. And everything is so overgrown, and it was a really pretty house before they yeah. bought it. And okay. I tried to go over there and mow as far over as I can, but then in the summertime, I didn't know who to call so yep. that they would keep the frontage 
mode because it got so high last year me and the neighbors next door tried to keep the front of it mowed so we could see how to get out out onto the road from my driveways yeah my husband mows the back part because it joins our property so yep. Yep. he mows it but the rest of it gotcha so yeah so we'll work on the front yard all today and then we'll come back in about a week and, and move our way to the backyard so that would be great yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> Absolutely, but I just wanted to come introduce myself and make sure you knew what was going on, okay? Yeah. All right, well, you take care, okay? All right.
let me ask you guys this. As you can see, we always get stuck. You, those of you who have been following us for a long time see that we always get stuck with yards with vines. I don't know if it's just the area we live in, but it could look, I mean, it could look like nothing but grass. And we show up and sure enough, there's gotta be vines somewhere. So I just think it's funny at this point, how many vines, uh, I don't wanna be known for the as the, the vine guy or the vine family, but we get stuck with those things. But hey, they sure do look nice when they get all cleaned up.
All right, I'm gonna give you a little update while Ty works in the background. We're uh, finishing up around this corner. We're only gonna have time today to work on the front and then we'll come back next time and we'll work on the back because the back is actually uh, probably quite worse, um, especially with growth and stuff like that. Just wanted to update you. Uh, that whole situation earlier got handled. The police finally made it out, got everything situated, the person towed. And again, just so you guys know, nobody got seriously injured or anything. But what happened was a uh, uh, there is a small engine repair shop. This is the craziest part of this story. There's a small engine repair shop that is where the accident took place. Um, took place in the road, but in front of the, the repair shop. And that was the guy that we talked to earlier in the beginning of the video. Now the craziest part is we actually parked our trailer first on the road, almost, almost identically in that spot that the accident took place. So we thought about it and we're like, man, it's just too in the road. It's just not safe. Let's figure out another way. And he's the one who actually let us park in his little parking lot area, which was really cool because that potentially saved our trailer from getting hit and busted up, which would have been a horrible nightmare. Uh, on top of everything that happened. But what happened was there was a guy that was getting, I guess getting hit looking for a mower or something like that. And he had a trailer on his back and he was backing his trailer out into the big part of the road. And when he did that, the other car didn't see him, slammed on the brakes, couldn't stop in time, smashed his trailer, had a lawnmower on his trailer, all that kind of stuff. So that's what happened. But again, nobody got hurt. So um, that's a good thing about that. But pretty crazy, pretty wild day, pretty wild yard. We're working on the uh, last part here around the corner of the house. And we just need to clean up this sidewalk, mow the front, make it look real nice. And then we'll show you those before and after pictures. So super excited about that.
What's that? You can leave that front one here. Oh, you want to leave it here? Yeah. <laughs> we got, that was my first one, the Titan was. I used that for about four years before I got the stand up when he, my 15 year old, when he was able to start riding them. And then we started doing it together, started knocking out stuff twice as fast. Oh, so I don't know if you got a chance to see over there. You want to walk over? Yeah, let's walk over there. Okay. So we worked mainly on the front today, got as much as we could done with the time we had, and then we'll um, come back and work on the, the back probably in about a week or so. Okay. Oh yeah, especially that tree over there, that was just covered in vines. So. Yeah, and that helps a bit for the house too and all that stuff, you know, clinging yep. up to it. Make it a big mess. Yep. I don't wish it was pretty well. Yeah, we did end up getting to talk to the neighbor though, and she said she appreciated it too, because I think her husband mows in the back, and if he doesn't keep up on it, it starts creeping over into their in their yard and their space and stuff. So, but yeah, you're right, the back's pretty rough too. So, I figured we'd use a whole day for that. Okay. Big issues was not being able to see because it's kind of a dangerous spot right there, and then right in the middle of us doing the yard talking about that, there's an accident. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Isn't it? Yeah. That was wild. So it was the gentleman backing out with his trailer, yeah. I'm guessing? Okay. Yeah, he didn't see the car coming down the road. Yeah. And they hit the trailer. All right, I'm gonna get these kiddos home. No worries, get them fed. Yeah, appreciate it. It was a pleasure to meet you. No